Hello, it's Vini here. And it's the third time that I'm trying to record this video. So OBS is not collaborating, the webcam is not collaborating, but let's go. I'm not gonna desist. We're gonna move this channel. So today I'm gonna present you uh, our next project. So this is the Stratasys Dimension Elite 3D printer. And this is an old industrial printer. And what makes this different from uh, another printers like a Prusa is the fact that it has a proper heated chamber. So it's an ovenized printer where we can have the environment inside the printer in a higher temperature. This allows us to print with more reliably with uh, industrial grade polymers like with ABS PC, ABS itself, um, nylon and pure polycarbonate. So this is or the goals that I'm looking for for this printer. And if we can accomplish that, great. Uh, so we have two challenges uh, on this project to solve. First, the old electronics were very outdated. So the printer was functional in terms of electronics. So I basically removed scrap all, all the old boards because the software is simply outdated. Uh, Stratasys, uh, they, they don't update their, their software for, for old machines to push you to buy new ones. So basically the old software would be usable but very limited compared with the modern slicers that we have nowadays, okay? So for this reason, I'm gonna be installing a new entire uh, electronics here. So we're gonna have a UPS here embedded uh, we're gonna be running Clipper firmware, so we're gonna have a Raspberry Pi here running Clipper and Octoprint and then a dedicated controller port to control the, the motors. The second part on this project is the extruder, because this is, this is the old carriage on the printer. And what happens uh, is the, the original extruder, one of the nozzles was, had a broken pipe on the input uh, for the filament. So, and a new extruder for this printer is like 800 euros. So basically uh, the price of a Prussian. So it doesn't make sense to, to use the uh, original uh, system. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be getting this part that is the the case the housing for the housing for for the old extruder and i'm gonna be uh, redesigning this part and, and we're gonna machine a new part to fit the e3d hemera new hemera extruders so here has enough space to fit the uh their extruder, so we're gonna have new assembling points for, for their extruders. So we're gonna have a modern extruder with modern electronics and with a very robust mechanics and an organized printer. So we're, we're gonna have the, the benefits from open source printers with the benefits of an industrial printer as well. So it's gonna be pretty great. Also the, uh, the carriage here, this part that was the airflow and filament exit for the old system, we're gonna be machining and remove this part because I need clearance for the motors here, for the back of the motors. So we're gonna be removing, also uh, removing weight. This is good because yeah, the, the extruders are heavy uh, as well. So as much weight we can gain here, it, it's better for the printer uh, speed. Okay, so guys, this is what we're gonna be working. So we, we're gonna have many videos. This is gonna be a series. On the next video, probably uh, I'm gonna be designing the, the new part and I'm gonna show a screen share with you guys uh, my design on, on Inventor. And uh, we also are gonna be starting working on the electronics, the new wiring when when the new electronics arrive okay so expect that on the next week uh we were gonna already starting working on on the wiring for this printer and meanwhile uh, i'm gonna arrange the machining of the new parts and uh we are gonna be making this printer fully operational and great to, to very nice project that i have in mind 
for, for the future of this channel. Okay, so guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to share with you this new phase of Vinny's lab. So if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe because this helps me a lot to understand that you are actually enjoying the content and leave your comments here if you want to see something uh, different, uh, if, if you have any compliments or uh, arguments regarding the way that, that, that uh, this channel is going. And if you like, please give your thumbs up. So see you next time.